welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am going to do a updated hair and makeup situation for when I go to work as a copper chopper. <laughs> if you don't know, I recently switched to the day shift, which is very exciting. I will link my other police officer hair and makeup video in the description box down below in case you want to check that out. That was back when I was working nights. There are a few things that have changed since doing that video so that's why i wanted to do an updated one for you guys if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave and make sure you follow me on my social medias <laughs> and let's just jump right into the video i'm going to start off with my hair and of course i left the two brushes that i use all the time for my hair in my locker at work we will just make do on a regular basis i don't go into work with wet hair during the cold months during the summer i actually kind of prefer wet hair just because it kind of cools you off a little bit better part my hair the best that i can i like it to be as straight as i can get it that looks pretty good right there i find that when using two different scrunchies it doesn't pull at your scalp as much so I just gather it at the bottom here and then I brush the front so that it's nice and flat and then sometimes I'll get a little bit of water just so I can tame the flyaways since I don't have that brush that I'm talking about, just using a spoolie from a brow pencil, you know, improvise. <laughs> See how flat it gets it? That's how I like to wear it. I like to wear it as flat in the front as I can. Once I feel as if it's good, I take a hair tie and So I'm gonna do it three times like that and then and there you have the base so it's nice and flat so if you do have layers I recommend just getting a little bit of water to dampen the ponytail just so it sticks a little bit better I'll twist the hair and wrap it around the base So once I feel as if it's secure enough, I'll take another hair tie and wrap it around. Like that. It just feels so secure. Once I'm done pulling back my hair, I always hairspray it. This is a travel size from Tresemme because I like to keep a bottle of hairspray in my locker as well. And I basically make sure that I smooth down the front the most, just so there's no flyaways. And I always give a little bit of a spritz to the bun. You do want to make sure that you keep the bun at the base of the neck, because if you have it up too high, then it'll hit the driver's seat and it'll just drive you nuts. I found that out the annoying way and like mid shift I had to bring it down just because my neck was like ah! That's just something to keep in mind. You can also do your hair like this to an interview. Moving on to the face. I do not do a lot of makeup for my shift 
just because if you wear foundation it gets all over your uniform two products that i really like to use are from tula and these are the first things that i've ever tried from tula and i really like them this is the tula rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm i love this because it's cooling underneath my eye and it gives such a nice pearly sheen to my under eye and this is the tula face filter blurring and moisturizing primer which i also enjoy because it just blurs out your entire face so it kind of looks like a wearing foundation but you're not i always use an spf now that i'm on days i have to use an spf this is the keels ultra facial cream with spf 30 i noticed that this isn't hydrating enough for my skin so i have to mix it with an oil or this waleda skin food ultra rich cream which i've been loving i actually got another bottle of this and i keep it in my duty bag and i keep this one in my skincare cabinet just because i like to use it on my hands as well mascara that i'm obsessed with right now this is the honest beauty mascara i don't even think it's called anything and this makes your lashes long fluffy it comes with a primer on one side and then a mascara on the other side typically on the day-to-day -day basis i just use the mascara first we're going to start off with what i do every day wash my face and i go in with a spf SPF is so freaking important. I can't stress that enough. I also put SPF on my hand. You can always wear SPF even if it's cloudy outside because it's super important. And then since my skin is so frick frack dry, I mix in the Laleda. For the daytime, I just like to put it in my driest areas, which is my forehead for sure, my honk, <laughs> and then <laughs> my chin. This gives such a nice glow to the face. It's amazing. Then I go in with the Tula face filter. And it comes out like a gray white color. But then once you blend it into the skin, it turns a peachy color. And this actually kind of conceals any redness that you have. But it's not a foundation. It's literally just a tinted blurring primer which I appreciate so then it doesn't get all over my uniform. So then I take the Tula Rose Glow and get it cooling, brightening eye balm. I love this stuff. It's literally just like a pearlescent kind of color. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love my under eye patches and I wish I could wear those to work. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. Then I go into mascara. Use the primer first that all over my lash I don't let it dry I go right into the mascara like are you joking so good look at this can you guys see that and this eye with the mascara obviously and this one without I always like to have a really defined lower lash line with mascara because it makes you look a little less tired. While I'm at my skincare cabinet, I always put on a shiny lip balm at work, whether it's minty whether it's the Laneige Lip Glow Balm that I always keep in my vest, which if you saw my vest video, you would have seen it in there. But this is the just the regular sleeping mask. I love the shine that it gives to the lips. Hair, makeup. <laughs> I mean, the only makeup related thing is really the mascara, but I just love looking natural but enhanced natural. I love the glow, I love the natural look. I will leave all of the products in the description box down below if you guys are interested in checking out anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>